All right, looking to make an org chart with Microsoft Word? Well, you're in the right place. Let's just jump right into it. So assuming you have got Word open, what you are going to want to do is come over here to Insert. And once we get that open, we are going to want to click on Smart Art. That's where we're going to go for all of the organization charts. There's several formats, but we're going to start with the simplest. I'll show you a couple options um, and then some other things you can do from there. Now, when you bring up this, you're going to want to go down to Hierarchy, and you can already see right away that that's org chart, or you can just wait and see the tooltip like I'm showing here. So we've got several different ones. Let's start with the simplest and click OK. It gives us a basic layout and we need to go in and edit the text. And we can go ahead and do that right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and type in CEO. What you can also do is click, right click, and come down and say show text pane. And this will bring out basically a bulleted list that forms the hierarchy. For example, um, if we go down to the next one down, let's call that the CTO. And if we just hit enter, we're now on the same level. And we could call that maybe the CFO. Um, and then let's just say that uh, the CFO has person one and person two. And all I'm doing is hitting enter and tab under each one to indent. And then that's making this kind of a bulleted list um, that then shows up over here correctly on the org chart. Okay, so that's the very basics. We can click to close that out. Of course, you can move it around, do whatever you need to do. You have styles and formatting. Um, sorry, smart art design formatting up here. Um, again, you can right click on it, bring up some options for your style. If you want to change it, make it 3D. I think that'd be kind of weird, but hey, maybe you're going for that. Um, change the colors and then the layout. This is interesting. So this is where you could perhaps make a picture organization chart. Um, so when you click on the image, um, let's double click on that, I believe. Um, let me bring this up. Change shape, add shape, change graphic and you can choose. So we can do it that way, uh, right click, change graphic, and then you can choose from a bunch of different sources. I believe, there we go, we can double click on it. And let's use some stock images and, hey, there we go, we got a cat. We'll make the cat CEO. And you can see how this is going. I'm not going to um, do a bunch of these. We'll just add in some images here. We'll uh, make the push-up person uh, the CTO and that way you could add if you wanted to add some personalization to this or you know maybe there's a logo to go with it if it's not a person whatever that might be now one other thing you might want to do with this is if you want to change the layout and perhaps you want to have it labeled um, so you could do this either way you could have a name up here or and then the title down here let's say though we're doing the titles and then you can just click on the box and start typing um, so we'll say that Amy is the uh, CEO and Adam is a CFO and Bill is the CTO, and you can go like that. Of course, you can format this stuff differently and do what you need to do, um, but that could be helpful as well um, as a way to show it. And again, you can move all this around, change the colors, do all of the formatting that you need to do. So that's basically it. That's how you can really quickly make an org chart in Microsoft Word. Uh, you can check out the other videos for making org charts with different tools. And if you're interested in this and other productivity information, you can subscribe to the Productivity Academy channel. Thanks for watching.